We are now home free. Final chapter. Exit. And an hour has now passed in the recording. I'm watching that clock. I said clock. No. Gloskin's eh, Gloss been watching plenty of cocks, that's for sure. <laughs> you are fucking terrible. Time to see the aftermath of a couple of events in the main game, starting with the Burning Chapel. There's not much to say at this point. Just reflect. <laughs> Just say he's dead. Yeah. What kind of sick fuck would do this to somebody? He even took his damn pants. Tell you what, I've seen more than enough dick and balls tonight to last me a lifetime. Yeah, me too. Including my own. Something. Would that be the wall rider by any chance? Nah. No. See no one turned off that TV since it turned on by itself since Miles entered the asylum. What a waste of electricity. And they still haven't cleaned up that blood from the carpet. Whoever went in there at the start of the main game has long gone. Oh, and look, the generator room is still flooded. Some people just don't listen to me. I've got no common sense whatsoever. Mr. Park. Oh fuck! <laughs> How the fuck are you still alive? Because I'm smart. Please. Fuck off. Set me. The war rider doesn't like it when people beg. You learned that the hard way. Oh, wow. First Chris Walker, and now Jeremy Blair. More red porridge. Yeah, red porridge, the second coming. Oh, Mr. War rider. Good luck on Dragon's Den with that red porridge recipe. Well, that's it. Can't look, look behind. I can now. <laughs> well, that settles it. Goodbye, Mount Massive. Goodbye, Wall Rider. Goodbye, Murkoff. Somebody in my work's got a red jeep as well. It's a five door though, not a three door. Yep. Again. Goodbye, Mount Massive. Goodbye, Wall Rider. Wall Rider? Wait a minute. Question. That's well, that's Miles, obviously. But was he trying to help Whale on escape, or what? You press that button, 
There's no going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Merkel. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoiacs with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to Merkel but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's the right thing to do. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? You know what? Fuck it. And that wraps up Outlast, the first chapter. Outlast 2, anyone? Yep, I cannot fucking wait. Apparently, uh, Red Barrels has said that's it for Mount Massive. We're not going back there. So I guess the Mount Massive story is over. Well, I hope you enjoyed my main playthrough and the DLC playthrough. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay solid. Don't let Mount Massive or the Wall Rider or Chris Walker or, or anything bad about that game bite. I've heard it all before. Sleep tight.